Headshots, welcome back. Today we're not speedrunning, but we are doing, well, a speedrun challenge. We're gonna try to beat the game without spending any money. Only exception, buying the first car. Most wanted broke percent. Yep, that's about right. But I think other than that, I'll treat it, I'll treat it like the speedrun. Pink slips and junkmans, exactly. Anything, anything and everything that is free. What I can do is spend the least amount of money possible, right? Is the Ponto the cheapest car? Either way, that's the plan. I'm gonna be buying the cheapest starter car. The Cobalt is? Well, I guess we start on the Cobalt then. But yeah, that's the plan. Let's see if we can beat Most Wanted without spending any money. After the cheapest starter car. Getting Blacklist cars is gonna be a huge advantage if we get them. Sure, I beat the game in a stock Ponto, but I lost a lot of events. The idea is to do this challenge while not losing a race. And I guess, I guess we can eliminate the car. Whatever, whatever car I have. Alright, the cheapest car we said. Oh yeah, it is the Cobalt. The Lexus and the Punto is 27,000, but the cheapest one is the Cobalt. Alright then. And from now on, to complete this challenge, I'm not allowed to buy any performance upgrades. If I run out of cars, the challenge has failed. So let's hope we get some good blacklist cars to replace this Cobalt with. I think I'll immediately switch to the faster car if I unlock one. Yes, Chunkman parts are allowed because they are free. Nuzlocke also means I can't get busted, which might be interesting depending on the car. Are there free upgrades? Only the Junkmans. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> My speedrunning muscle memory nearly made me buy some upgrades there. But to be fair, we can definitely beat this game without, without a spoiler. Also, most of the blacklist cars are probably gonna come with, with aerodynamics. Cash car. <laughs> we get our first upgrade. Sunny's goal should prove quite useful. I'm pretty sure at some point we're gonna be losing cars. I can tell the missing handling on this car in comparison to the other goal. Also, it's been a while since I've been using the blacklist cars. That is true. He did take out the nose bottle before he gave it to us <laughs> because Sunny, Sunny is using nitrous. <laughs> We, you know, we won his car, it didn't say anything about his nitrous bottle. And if I lose a race or the car gets busted, I have to retire the car. That way, that way I know I can't use the car anymore. So yeah, losing a race or getting busted, car is gone. And I can only use the starter car and obviously all the cars that I win from backlist members. Speed traps are gonna be a challenge without nitrous. I mean, later on I'm gonna get cars with nitrous, but right now we have to rely on our basic car here. You think Ming's car is gonna make or break the run? Maybe. He has a really good car. And a lot of people know that because very often people come up to me and ask me why don't they use Ming's Gallardo for the speedrun. Because it does come with ultimate upgrades. Everything but nitrous I heard. But it still ends up being slower than the Golf. And definitely slower than the least later on. Yeah, I wish it was a little bit more predictable to get roadblocks in this game. But that's just one of the RNG factors that go into speedrunning this game. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so annoyed, dude. Of course he gets stuck in a way and then he turns around halfway. He also turned around halfway through so I couldn't even see him on the other side. Oh, you have chosen death. Oh, I might not want to... Shit, that car is gone. <laughs> I, I cannot do drag races. I totally forgot, man. Drag races without nitrous. Especially, there's gonna be one guy, like this guy, that just blocks me off and then it's just game over. Hey, the golf is dead. I have one reserve car. I shouldn't do drag races. I have the Cobalt still available and the Lexus. Yeah, I was, I was a bit oblivious to drag race there for a second. I wasn't really thinking about the fact that I didn't have nitrous. Like, Tassa's car would have probably won the drag race. Curious at which chapter my car versus the opponents, the combination gets to a point where it gets harder to win. To win. Okay, we got, we got through easy. We did lose, we did lose the golf though. Do I want Kaz's car? Kind of do. Check. Yes! We're gonna swap the car. Actually comes with a full set of tuning options here. The problem is how they like swerve left and right all the time because then you just slam into the car and your speed is gone. Like any kind of speed advantage you had, just immediately gone. That's why you never want to be behind them. It's such a bad spot to be. Their cars artificially keep their speed and they keep swerving all over the place. I gotta say mods are extraordinarily terrible with managing volume. Like they usually change it in one direction then they forget to reset it for the next one. Whoa! That 
fucking Ponto, man, nearly beat us. And it's so extremely obvious to me, like, how much slower all of these cars are accelerating in comparison to the goal. I'd say the handling is about the same, but you really notice the slower acceleration. That back that turbo on the Golf is insane. <laughs> that did not go as planned. Or maybe it went exactly as planned. I got, I got the triple kill. Oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Fucking hell, dude. The car got stuck on the dead cop. <sighs> Let's see if we have a marker. I really hope we have a marker because I don't want to rebuild the heat level. Okay, good. So, it was free, so I deem it in the spirit of the challenge. Didn't pay for that reset, uh, for that, for that marker. Still, I don't want to get dusted, man. Like, I, I probably need those later on. Hey guys, Sakura here. Check out Instant Gaming for cheap game keys. Click the link in the description below. Hey, Baron time. Baron's gonna be interesting because he does have that drag race. I'm not sure how much of a chance we have there. Izzy versus Baron, the duel of the ages. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. I'm not sure if I should just block him, you know? I'm not sure how fast Baron is gonna be. He very often snipes this very specific card. All right, I wouldn't mind getting Baron's card out. Baron's car would be nice for this challenge. Got it. So might as well pick up the junk too. I'm considering doing the cop chase first though, because I will lose my heat level. 12 seconds later. Oh my god, why is the car so bad? I'm not sure I'm gonna have enough markers for this run. I think the cops are gonna be the hardest challenge. And I'm definitely gonna need the markers, otherwise this challenge is not gonna work. So I still have two markers. Oh, this is getting that's, that's this is getting tough. So the question is, do I do I keep using this a little bit longer or do I already switch to Baron's Porsche? I mean it will be a little bit harder if I use this car. Maybe I'll switch to Baron when I'm about to lose my car. Also, I think Baron's Porsche is probably faster than Jules Mustang. Yeah, I'm not sure how the drag race is gonna go. The good thing is when you have nitrous and a perfect start, you can at least get in front of your opponent and try to block them. So that could that could help out a lot. Okay, do I get the Junkman part or do I try to get Jules' car? Shit, I <laughs> didn't get didn't get either. I'm gonna do one more race and I'm gonna do the cops since we're already at at, four, at heat level four. I wanna utilize this. 233. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna lose the car here. Okay, the car is dead. Rest in pieces. Which means I have to rebuild the heat level. Ooh. That was actually a lot closer than I wanted. <laughs> okay, Ming's car would be fantastic. Ming's car would be glorious. Yes. <laughs> we didn't get Ming's junk, but we did get his car. You win some, you lose some. I think I'm gonna try to do the event with the cops first. And if we lose Baron's car, we still have Ming as a backup. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna bring our secret weapon. But yeah, the Cobalt is actually still alive. Either way, I don't really plan on using it anytime soon. The challenge would have been a lot harder without this card, that's for sure. It reminds me a little bit of the, the Carbon, uh, not Carbon, the Pro Street challenge where I got a free car marker and then I got myself the, uh, the Bagani. <laughs> yeah, I didn't use any of my Junkman parts, so I just have, what? I only have, seriously? I only have suspension, okay. Well then, we do have a suspension upgrade. <laughs> So, JV is officially dead. We killed him, we took his car. Actually, let's see if we get his junk. I definitely want the engine. Hey, we did get his car. So we do have a backup. We do have a backup car. So, get the, get the junkman here. No, even though we have a capable car, I still can't do any major mistakes here. I'm not sure, but I think I only have one extra get out of jail marker. So, I can only have one extra try for the cop chase. If you want to make it harder and maybe more RNG, you, would, you could say that you're only allowed to pick up one marker that has the cars which means every chapter only has a third of a chance to get a new car. Considering this car is all-wheel drive, it really does not accelerate that fast. But you're right, the Gallardo is pretty heavy. I gotta say, the, the Lambo is just as nimble as the Gold during cop chases. Like, I think you can use it. I think any all-wheel drive car with power and front-wheel drive car can be used for cop chases. Especially Gold and this car because they're heavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy got sandwiched between me speed braking and the rhino. Especially annoying is the game keeps showing you where the speed traps are, but you can't trigger them during cop chases anyways. So that will actually overlay and has a higher priority than seeing cops. Also, it changes like the chance of spawning cops. I'd love to see the game code for this part. Like, I would love to know what the spawn rate for cops is become at this stage here you know where all the cops disappear from the minimap and you're just waiting for the game to spawn you any fucking roadblock it has all the ultimates 
I mean, we could try to get it. Try to get it and give it a try. Don't remember the last time I actually used Bull's SLR. Boom. Last race. Then another chase. I gotta say, this Lambo for me was always a little bit too tame. You know, to me this was like your average supercar. Honestly, we could we could use the Viper just for fun against Razor to mix it up. Okay, let's see how good it is as a drag racer. Not as good as the Elise, I have to say. Let's see how much money I have. I sold all the cars that lost the race. Let's see with how much money we can end the run. I honestly have no idea how much money you create in an 90 percent playthrough. We will see. Slightly different because we also went for more markers. So slightly more money than you would have in any percent. That it would usually go towards Junkman upgrades. If the car is so wide, I wasn't sure I'm gonna make this without glitching out again. But yeah, here's the out of bounds. It cuts two kilometers off the race. If I do this challenge again, I have to make it a little bit harder, I think. I'm not sure what other limitations I could do. I think the most reasonable one that I can definitely add, I can't get busted either. I would have to play around getting busted as well. I'm not sure what else. I mean, we could take away the speed breaker. We cannot take away the NOS unless we want to sacrifice every single drag race. Actually, no, no NOS doesn't work. No speed breaker can work, but even then, there's like a bunch of drag races where I use yeah. the speed breaker to not hit, the black uh, not hit the truck that comes sideways. So I would have to come up with new strategies for drag races too. I think we're safe actually. Yeah, it was a bit weird, but we are actually safe. I think this time I actually jumped too far to the right. Usually I jump not far enough. I think this time it was a bit too far. Hey, not too bad. That was, that was a lot faster than I thought. Five hours and three minutes. We did lose a few cars, but that was my first car, then with the Lexus, then we lost the next one, then we got the Cayman, Gallardo, Viper, and then Freedom, of course. Ha 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 ha! Yay! Now we have 1.4 million cash. Maybe I should have kept them free. <laughs>